Between 1-2% to 2 of the kids and adults have a peanut allergy, which I know doesn't sound like much, but when you consider that the population of the U.S. is roughly 350 million, that couple of percent adds up to a lot of people very quickly. To that 1-2%, to 2 I have good news. For kids with a milder form of the allergy, it's recently been discovered that they may be able to actually overcome it by steadily increasing an intake of store-bought peanut butter. It's like that part in The Princess Bride where Wesley drinks the poison and inconceivably doesn't die until he explains how he'd been drinking the stuff in small amounts over time to acclimate to it. The kids in this study were actually introduced to an eighth of a teaspoon a day, which was then gradually increased over eight weeks. Once the kids reached a half teaspoon without issue, they were allowed to sub in other foods with similar amounts of peanut protein. Once they were able to eat all the way up to a tablespoon, they no longer had to eat peanut butter every day, but instead did a larger amount of peanut butter in longer apart increments. Then, to make sure that the tolerance stuck, the kids were told to refrain from eating any peanut butter for eight weeks, after which they were given three tablespoons of the stuff after those eight weeks were concluded, where 26 out of 30 of them passed the clinical trial. Now, while the children in this test did experience reactions during the trial, they were never so severe to require an epinephrine shot. However, however, I want to be very clear. This is not me saying to go take your peanut allergic kid and start your own personal peanut adaptation clinic. Zoom in here and listen close. Don't you internet nerds take me out of context. My name is Mason Manuel and you should not feed your peanut allergic kid any peanut butter by yourself. You should, however, talk to their allergist about potential options and see if they could one day witness the glory of a frozen Reese's cup on a very hot day. Or really just any day, let's be honest.